I've heard people say that Iowa stands for idiots out wandering around. Now, I don't want to disparage the good people of Iowa, so in the case of this video, it's going to stand for idiots on the water angling. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and that's where we're fishing today. It's Iowa. This is actually part two of the first day I was out there fishing with two of my very good friends, Matt Vavrock of Matt Vavrock Fishing YouTube channel, and Ben Stone of CanalGratis.com YouTube channel. Both really good channels. I'll throw them in the description below so you can take a look at their videos and check out what they're doing. So this intro has dual purpose. I like to do most of them out on the water when I can. And for this day, the one I did got used in part one. So we need one for part two. But the other reason I'm doing the intro here is this is the 200th video that I've produced on the Angling Anarchy YouTube channel. So it's a really cool milestone for me to hit that point. And we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna get to 300, 400 hopefully. And for those of you that don't know, Every Saturday morning, 8.30 a.m. are when new videos drop every week. I try not to miss one. Uh, haven't missed one in almost three years now. So if you like what you're seeing, I uh, would love it if anyone that hasn't yet would hit the subscribe button and do me a favor and see if we can get this channel up to that 10,000 subscriber mark. We're sitting at like 8,500 right now. So that would be awesome. With that, let's get to the back half of a wonderful day of musky fishing in Iowa. Uh, I feel like uh, sure. just because when they move up, they're, they're up, but even then, it just, that is relational to where the bait is. Sure. So like, you know, they might move up with, with the bait, but if that bait pushes back out deep, they're gone. Whereas this, you know, they kind of linger a little bit longer. Yep because, you know, that bait is following them up there. Right. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Whoa, nice fish, dude. Almost. <laughs> How big do you think that was, dude? 42. Yeah, low 40s. Whoa. I just been fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. He freaking hamstrung me. Yeah, yeah. You just pop up out of nowhere and hit it. Surprise. Good hook set too. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was sprinting back here to keep the rod loaded. Yeah, yeah. But. Oh, almost, almost. My tail's all cattywampus now. Are there weeds up against these rocks then you said? Usually, yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Everywhere down through here. Okay. There's fish. He's still, He's still on it. He's yep. Nope, 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 nope. He, he hit it and I, I set and he just. I thought you had him hooked, that's why I, I did too. Like he came up and hit it and I pulled sideways and it just popped right out of his mouth. I don't, I mean, I, I don't think I hit it too hard, but, uh, it, he ate it. Oh dude, he, he literally had it like this and I pulled forward and it just out of his mouth. Dude. <laughs> no. It was my turn to lose one, I guess. <laughs> oh man. That was cool, though. Know, but I mean, that worked. That worked really good because I could tell he was hot. Came in and hung it out in that top corner. Well, being the gracious boat host that I am, I didn't want these guys to feel bad about losing fish. So I figured, you know, I should probably lose one too, just to make it fair for everybody. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, guys. Um, that fish was really aggressive in the eight 
came around, went a little bit deeper, hung the bait in that top corner, and it just came up and T-boned it. I felt the tick of the teeth hitting the bait, pulled the bait sideways. I mean, it should have been a really good hook set, but yeah, they're muskies, they're jerks sometimes. So um, this is a good thing though, because Ben just had a fish come up and nip at a bait, another nice one. Matt's was a really nice fish. They're definitely moving. We've contacted, what, six fish now. We boated two, lost four, and seen another six. So what a fantastic day of musky fishing, and we still have plenty of time to put another fish or two in the boat. Oh, oh, oh. He's Little not very guy. big. <laughs> what do you want to do about uh, uh we'll just pretty good, so. Yeah, we'll just we'll net him we'll up. We'll net him so he doesn't hurt himself. Yep. Alright buddy. <laughs> you are a tough guy. I appreciate you a lot. I'll just keep him in the yeah, water there because he's kinda good. he's he's pinned a little bit high, but at least we can have some control on him. Uh, oh right here. Thanks, yeah. yeah. Wow, he got that first hook really good, he didn't he? Oh, he's hooked in the spot underneath the chin there. Oh, he's not as bad as I thought. Okay. I'm just going to put it on spot lock so we don't good idea. float he, in. He hit that like he meant business. <laughs> I figured that would Oh, happen. there you go. Yep, yep, yep. It smells like a musky. Yeah. Now we'll get out of that. <laughs> you know we've had a really awesome day but like the craziest thing is as awesome as it is it's still one of those days of like what could have been kind of day oh yeah yeah it's just like normally on a three fish day you'd be like oh 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 nice fish nice fish Got him, man. There you go, boy. That's how you oh, do it. Sick head shape. That's, that's how you do it. That's how I end my day. Thank you. I don't know the if musky you're gods, taking another man. The musky god smiled, Ben. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Let me get this As guy. The, sun, the musky's in that. The musky god smiled, man. Brian, that was a freaking dope call, dude. Just okay. Dope call, dude. Okay. Get in there. Get down there. There we go. I, there we go. I'm not gonna lie. My heart sank because when I stuck the hook and it came at me, I saw the bait just floating. That is awesome. Nice bro. Nice bro. That gliding man, that thing is on a different level. There's that. Oh shit, how did this happen? Oh, oh there we go. Okay. Was like okay. You can see the fish has got some scars on her and that's just from spawning. These fish uh, bite each other and basically go at each other and so they get beat up. It's not from mishandling the fish, this is just the natural way that things happen here in the spring, but that's a gorgeous fish. That's a, a great way for this evening bite to go. Obviously we still have time, so maybe we'll catch another fish, but until then I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. out I didn't well I changed baits a lot but I mostly stuck with the guppy it paid off I caught that beautiful mosky 
What a great way to end today. All right, everybody, look at that. Ben Stone caught a muskie finally. <laughs> that was so cool. I, I don't know what the cameras are going to see. I, we're excited to get back and see what we've got for footage because there's a lot of it. There's missed fish, there's caught fish, there's all sorts of good stuff. But that was a really cool uh, strike and fight. The fish came up, hit the bait, and just didn't stop shaking its head. Made netting the fish a little hairy. I mean, we were, stuff was flying, nets were going everywhere, uh, but we got the fish in the net. It was a beautiful fish. Every single one of these fish have been beat up from spawning, so they're just off the spawn. Got the feed bag on. We've got the water temps have come up about a degree and a half. So, and we are just targeting weed edges basically. There's this curly leaf pond weed. We're targeting the edges of it and just bouncing around. And wherever we find fish, we're trying to go back on them. And every now and again, we're fortunate enough to get hooks in one and catch it and show you. Everybody, that's the end of a fantastic day of musky fishing. In fact, this is going to be part two outro because I'm going to split that. There was just too much going on for one video for for this YouTuber, so we're going to split it up. Um, we each got a beautiful Iowa musky, and unfortunately, we each lost <laughs> some Iowa muskies today. But what a what a what a day! Four, well, three and a half fish in the boat. Um, <laughs> Three of them were really nice, one little peanut, and my gosh, lost fish follows. Um, I caught a little bass, so we had a lot of stuff going on. Just a fun day. We, I think everyone in this boat needed this day to happen. We needed to catch a muskie. We needed to hang out with good friends, which I got to do. And speaking of that, we have right behind me Mr. Matt Vavrock. He is our host here. He has a lovely little YouTube channel called Matt Vavrock Fishing. You should check it out. I'll put it in the description below, along with Mr. Ben Stone. Uh, Canalgratis.com. I knew that. I was going to make fun of him for his visor, but you know. <laughs> 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 the visor kid <laughs> he does have good hair I'll give him that all right well the boat's turning I'm losing my light so let's wrap this up thank you every single one of you for watching I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video